And now we can simply use these however we wish. We can put them in activities, we can use them in, as direct device control, and we can assign them to button press. Really great news for us Harmony users. Just in the last few days, we got a fix for the Lutron account linking, so we can now use our Lutron devices again. And we just got a fix for SmartThings integration, which has been broken for over a year now. So all we have to do to fix it is click the hamburger menu, Harmony Setup, Add Edit Devices and Activities, Devices, Smart Things. Now, you may or may not see a list of devices you previously had in there. What you need to do is click Re-Login. This is going to link your accounts again and pull the lists together. Now, you may have to actually log into your account, and then you'll see this screen here. This is asking you to pick your hub. If you've only got one, there's only going to be one in the list. Mine is called Home. And check both of these boxes or make sure they're both checked and clicked authorized. That will pull in all your devices into Harmony so that we can use them. You may need to log in here. It should automatically kick you back into the app. Go ahead and click try again if this comes up. This is completely routine. Go through once again. Sometimes that happens if you have to actually do the logins, but if you're already logged in, it should sail right through. So we'll, we'll see it probably work this time. Or not, make a liar out of me, go ahead. All right, I'm gonna try closing and reopening the Harmony app. Sometimes you have to do that as well. One more time, into settings. De devices, smart things, re-login. Choose my hub and authorize. Back to Harmony. There we go, should work this time. So now it pulled in a list of everything that I have that are available through SmartThings that Harmony can use. And you can click the plus to open up the list and just make sure that things you've assigned to be available are actually showing up. And now I've got four things. My base shaker amp is what I use for my Croson's amp and my cabinet fan or my cooling fans that I have on a smart switch in my media rack. So just click the next arrow in the upper right hand corner and now we can simply use these however we wish. We can put them in activities, we can use them in, as direct device control, and we can assign them to button presses on our remotes. That's it, enjoy.